So this is the title of uh, the presentation. Uh, we want to show uh, the use of SSP, FMI and OC uh, for simulation-based testing of an automated vehicle. Uh, and this is a, a joint work from different people uh, where we work together in a publicly funded project. And this is already the first slide, sorry. There is a slide missing. Oh, sorry. So let's try once more. So, yeah, um, yeah this is a, a, a joint work of, of uh, multiple people in the project set level. Uh, this is a publicly funded project uh, in Germany. Um, and this is part of uh, the so-called Pegasus family. Maybe you are familiar with the already uh, finished publicly funded project Pegasus, where first large work was done on how to validate and verify um, automated driving systems and driving assistance systems. And uh, there is a successing project that is called uh, validated and verification methods for automated driving. And there one key factor is simulation to be able in the first place to uh, do all this verification and validation work for these complex systems. And as this key uh, of simulation is so important, uh, there was a decision to make a, a separate independent uh, project and this is called set level. And what we try to do is here to look at all the aspects from scenario-based testing uh, for this automated driving and how to do this in a way so that all the requirements can be fulfilled that, that came up from, from the validation and verification use cases, but also for, for other use cases. Um, and you see some yeah constraints here. Uh, you have a variety of development tasks of course, um, there are a lot of things that you can test, that you can assess, and you have a lot of people who are working at this stuff from for, for, uh, from uh, different use cases. And to, to bring this all together, there should be some standardization, modularization of the whole sis, uh, simulation things. And from the beginning, we tried to uh, use the existing and, and uh, uh, standards like the standards in, in ASAM, Open Scenario and Open Drive, uh, but also, of course, the standards that came up from the Modelica Association, FMI and SSP. And yeah, I would say OC is also uh, a child from the FMI community, but then was transferred to ASAM and tried to bring the, all these stuff together to be able to, to do these simulation tasks. So we wanted to have a, a flexible and modular uh, uh, scenario-based simulation. And on the one hand side, what you can see here on the right is, of course, how to define what we want to simulate. And as we are here in this scenario-based simulation, we call this scenario. And there is a, a differentiation between logical and concrete scenarios, but I don't want to go into the detail here. Uh, so this is the one part to describe what we want to simulate, and then we have to describe um, which system we want to, to virtualize and where we want to have a digital twin from, so to speak, to use this password. Uh, and then we want also to have a, a, a somehow standardized interface architecture for the sake that we can exchange uh, different components, that we can use the same components in different tools, um, and with the hope that the simulations in different platforms and tools uh, still result in, in at least very similar uh, results. And you can see this in the example uh, for this car. That here you have different components like the uh, sensors, cameras. You have some, some control uh, mech algorithms. You have, of course, the hardware, for example, the vehicle dynamics and the actuators. And all these things has to be represented as models. And there we want to use the, the FM views for, for each of these components. And we use SSP as a description format to describe how they, the components interact with each other and how the input output behavior is between these things. 
And of course, as we have also the, the features of parameterization in SSP, this is also uh, a task to do here to, to be able to, to uh, parameterize the components and where different components have the same uh, parameters at the end, then the benefit of SSP comes into place. Um, this is uh, some. These are some some examples, sketches how how such a system under test would look like. Uh, at the left side, you see there are uh, many different sensors, and then we have this driving function, this hut function, where all these different blocks uh, uh, are running. And then on the lower side, you have the vehicle itself with this actuation and the vehicle dynamics. And in addition to that, we do not have to, to simulate only the, the what we call the ego vehicle, but we have also to, to simulate the, the traffic around our vehicle. So what we call the, the traffic agents. And at the end, the ego vehicle is also nothing else that, than a traf traffic agent, but we call it an ego agent. Uh, and on the right side, you see what of these models are implemented as examples in the set level project. So we have some, some sensors, radar, LiDAR, and camera. We have a driver model uh, for, for the other traffic participants and also a, a, a model for a pedestrian. Uh, we have a, a exemplary uh, automatic driving function. And then at the end, we have the motion control and the vehicle dynamics. So we have all the models in place to be able to build up a complete system as an example. Um, the benefit here is uh, what I also can send, say that, that most of these models will be available as, as open source models. So, so you can also use that. And it's also thought of that you can use these as not as a reference, but at least as an example uh, to see how, how the, the uh, collaboration in such a system is, is working. Um, this is an example of, of a use case, how to use these components and uh, uh, in, a, in a very specific simulation. So um, we developed in set level some uh, typical use cases that are also um, used in, in industry. And we want to take this as an example so that we can make very concrete uh, implementations in our research project and to to uh, to demonstrate that the uh, methods are working and the first use case here what is called simulation use case one is sorted to, to perform a so to, uh, so called criticality analysis that means you take one scenario you take a, a simulation under test uh, and you vary a lot of parameters and do a lot of different simulations with these uh, two uh, elements, but you vary parameters. And there you can either uh, vary parameters a parameters in the uh, ego vehicle itself, for example, some control parameters in your head functions. Oh, this uh, message is not so nice. I hope you can still hear me. Um, yeah, and what is realized here is what you can see in these uh, blue blocks. Uh, the simulation platform or the tool is called OpenPass. This is an open source tool. And here we connected the a camera sensor, uh, the, the automated driving function, the motion control in the vehicle the dynamics to a complete system. And uh, the current status of the project is that this is already running and the red box is already defined as SSP. So the connection between the camera sensor and the OSI gateway to, to the head function. Unfortunately, we have to, to implement this gateway here because uh, uh, the, the HUD is was implemented in, in ROS, so in a ro robotics operating system. So we had to, to build up here a gateway, but still this is working. And of course, also here between the tool itself and the camera sensor, uh, the OSI interfaces are used. The plan for, for the rest of the time of, of the project is to, to extend the SSP definition to the complete system here, which you can see in this green box. Uh, and then we go to the, to the second use case. 
Ah, okay. The first, uh, this is an example how you how you see how, how the it looks like in, in detail to use the SSP. So you have the camera sensor here, you have the hat function here, and here you have a connection between these two things. Um, and here you have the corresponding SSP uh, components. So you describe the components here, you uh, describe the, the connectors of the components, uh, and you, you def define the, the OSI uh, interface, and then you just connect these two connectors to each other, and then it's ready. Uh, why is here the XMI export? This is uh, just a, a side notice. Uh, we decided earlier in, in set level to, to build up all the, the signal architecture in, in, in the tool enterprise architect. Um, and it has its own format, of course, but there was a converter developed to export from enterprise architect the XMI and then transfer it to SSP. So at the end, we can give this SSP to, to the simulation tools and also to the um, modelers, the model developers to build up their models. Okay, now we come to the second use case, the simulation use case two. Uh, and there the target is that you have a complete ego vehicle and you want to uh, assess the overall performance of this ego vehicle. Uh, but still the, the structure is quite similar. Um, here we have two additional sensors. Uh, that are coupled to the simulation tool here in this example, it's uh, the DSpace ASM tool. Uh, all the sensors are FMUs uh, corresponding to the FMI standard. These are linked via the SSP definition to the HAT function. And then here below you once again see the eco vehicle in the dynamics, uh, eco vehicle dynamics model. And this is the system under test that has to be tested. Uh, this is a more you know, another, just another uh, representation of the same thing. Uh, so here you have once more the vendor tool, you have the, the sensor view, so the OSI uh, interface to these three sensors here in this case, then once more the HUD function, and here is the vehicle with the motion control. Uh, and here we have the plan to demonstrate that the SSP can be used to, 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 to reuse uh, these architecture definitions and to, to, to modularize and, and add new sensor models. The plan is to take the SSP from uh, simulation use case one, which consists of, of this part with this dark uh, green box, uh, then add these two sensors here, and then we have uh, a SSP that could be used for, for the second use case. And this is what we at the end want to have, that we can reuse the things, that they have the same architecture, and uh, that we can you know, exchange the tools, and that uh, not the tools, but the models. And we can use this uh, simulation description for different uh, tools, because this simulation use case two here in set level can be run in two different tools, as I uh, mentioned already in the DSpace ASM tool, but also with the IPG car maker. And um, the plan looking is, at the time, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost, yeah. I'm almost finished. Thank you for the hint. Um, yeah, <laughs> to be honest, this is the last slide. Um, yeah, what we want to demonstrate that both is possible to transfer uh, these things between different use cases, but also between different tools and that we uh, came up with the same results here. And I think this is a quite nice example how all these different standards are, are collaborating at the end. So thank you for your attention and I'm happy for questions. Thank you. There's already one in the chat. Is the SSP implementation in Enterprise Architect publicly available or was it developed internally? Yeah, this is a, a internal. Um, implementation because at the, it was just a, a workaround because at this stage there were no um, yeah good enough tools to to edit this uh, SSP so we went this way but I think uh, for now you can get tools to build this directly with SSP so this is no need anymore in the future yeah, yeah, and I think the, the implementation makes certain assumptions that uh, were specific to the set level. Yeah. So this is not like it's a generic tool for yeah. SysML Enterprise Architect to SSP. Yeah. Thank you. 
are there further questions or comments? If not, um, thank you very much. And then You're welcome. Uh, let's